war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because of my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war, war never changes. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. What's up, hey, everyone? My turn, big guy. Welcome to Fallout 4. I finally decided to come back and do this game after that freaking glitch. Although I did want to say something. The reason I'm just gonna confirm this character right now is because I did manage to find a save file that me and my girlfriend had originally started. If you guys were with me at the time, uh, we started this game together. She created her, uh, the character and everything. And um, I got stuck in a glitch. Uh, I don't know how many quests into the story. And I couldn't get out of it. I had no ammo. I just instantly died and all that crap so uh just gonna pick up this part new and all that stuff ah, good morning mom your coffee 173.5 degree fahrenheit brew to perfection and today's newspaper just delivered grognak the barbarian and the jungle of the bat babies <laughs> Hmm. More of the same. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up this part. I'm just going to make it new. And then once the... Um, once the... Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. When I catch up to the, the part, I should say that it's going to pick up. Ice cold. Oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Sean. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Hun? We should take Codsworth to be serviced soon, don't you think? I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm going to pick up from where the quest is going to... Where... I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to just do this part, and then when 
I get to the part where I was originally at with my girlfriend. I'm obviously going to just load that safe, and then from there on, I'll just continue this game. But just thank you guys so much for tuning into the series. Uh, I decided to do this one after I finally beat Halo 5. Did this guy knock the door already? He's just looking at me. Oh. That salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Let's answer this mofo. Good morning. vault calling. vault -Tec? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am. And helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Like I said, uh, just gonna do this real quick. Uh, none of this really matters to me right now, and uh, I don't even know what all this is. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to sound like an idiot in the uh, the game, so my name will be my name, Luis. And except wonderful, that's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey. It's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. I just sat down, damn it! <laughs> Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? He wants some boobies. Come here, you little bastard. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? You know what I noticed? I just named myself Luis and I'm a chick. But then I just noticed again. That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. There was no error, Most truly. Of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Urgh. Let's get pumpkins instead. Carve jack-o'-lanterns. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Open the door. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes. Blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. We Wait, seem to what? have lost contact with the police stations. Oh no. We do we do have we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My god. Oh, Let us go, baby. Now I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, 
Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Dude, that is insane. Like, I know I played the intro to this game, but it's like... <laughs> I would fucking run, screw that. I don't care if my shoes don't make it, I would fucking just run for my life. And uh, the way I'm going to do this uh, Fallout intro, or... We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, you sir. Two, follow me. God, Come on. Us I just noticed those people outside We're the doing gate. Everything we can. Now keep moving. I just noticed that that the guy getting denied was the guy that let me in. <laughs> he Never signed me up for the vault. In the center. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I remember this part. This part is gnarly. And I'm gonna play this game the way I would play this game. Uh, how, what I would do in real life, just uh, We're gonna be okay. give you guys an idea. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Dude. That is insane, man. Like, just the fact of a fucking nuclear bomb going off just sends, like, chills down my spine, you know? It's, like, freaky. Ugh. <laughs> I'm actually, like, shivering. Ugh. I'm, like, shivering to the idea of that ever happening. I mean, I hope it never does, obviously. We did but it. Shit. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please, step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, off the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, we don't, don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs Vault and through the door there. Man, that is crazy. Please proceed. What are you looking at? Female. This way, please. This one is good. Step over to the table and take a seat. Just step over to the table. Just this way. Stepping over to the table. Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Right over there, please. So if this is like Fallout 3, down the hall there. Each vault is uh designated to why does this guy not take his freaking suit? There it is. Over there. Take a suit. Yeah, Welcome if this one eleven. I'm sure you'll feel right at home in no time. Take your suit. You'll need it. Oh, give me it. Give, give me the fucking suit. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> what now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. All right, you freaky pervert. Come here. See? This is our new home. Take a vault seat. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. It's gone. Not that the others our aren't home. great, mind you. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. How long do you think we'll be down here? What if they oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit. Just Don't checking think? everyone the off the list. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. Man, this is insane. Like, I know I've, I know this intro already, but it's just like the idea of this actually happening is. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. I put that suit on pretty damn fast. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, 